hello guys in today's video we are going to see how to join merchant navy after doing be or ptech in mechanical engineering or naval architecture this is kewal and you are watching crazy mariners we are going to see in full details so first of all you have to do is gme course which full form is graduate marine engineering to do gme course there are some educational qualification is mandatory and if you have that then and then you can apply for that GME course so to do GME course you should have 60 percentage in your 12 science or diploma along with 60 percentage in your BE or BTEC as aggregate or in final year some company takes the final year score and some company takes the aggregate score so in the brief you should have 60 percentage in your 12 science or diploma and you should have 60 percentage in your BE or BTEC along with that you should also have 50 percentage marks in your 10th or 12th in the English subject as English is very much useful language used in this field you should also have the grip on this language your age should not exceed 28 years on the day of commencement means your age should be less than 28 year on the day of the joining of that course now if you have the right educational qualification then you should also have the proper medical and physical fitness you should not have any kind of disease which can harm your health in the midway of ocean means your health should be in the tip top condition and with that your eye vision should have 6 by 6 or 6 by 10 in both eyes and you should not have any kind of color blindness as this is very much important for this field if you have color blindness then please choose any other career because there are no space for the people who have color blindness I must recommend every person willing to join merchant navy to check these two aspects first in that first one is educational qualification and second one is medical fitness if you have a proper this to field then then and then you apply for the uh, that this course because in the last or in the first this is going to come first now there are some DGS approved doctors are also there who can check your fitness for the C if you don't think you have any major disease or problem then you are good to go with this field now if you have appropriate qualification with fitness then it is time to search for the good college which give you sponsorship or 100% placement this sponsorship doesn't mean you don't have to pay any kind of fees for that course mm, no it is not like that sponsorship means they give you placement after completion of that course The DG Shipping also has made one circular stating that it is mandatory to give placement after the course to all the colleges in which this kind of course is running. But it takes little time to get apply as in some college it has already applied and in some, some other colleges it has just started to apply. So we will not take into the consideration. Now, how to search good college which is best for your future and give you sponsorship also. So, I would suggest if you are new to this field then choose the company which has every kind of ship as well as that ship also has to have in very good numbers because that leads to faster promotion and that give you the full exposure to every kind of working on the different ships.
I will personally suggest Anglo Eastern as it is managing more than 900 ships. You can also ask a person related to this field and make sure you choose the company or college wisely because if you pick any wrong college then you have to take help of the agents and that becomes your first way to join Merchant Navy. So please don't get trapped into their net. Choose the college wisely. If you have found your dream college then the next step is to get into that. So for that you have to apply into that college or company by visiting their site and you have to fill the form and after filling the form you have to take the written test psychometric test followed by personal interview and followed by medical test in the written test they will check your technical knowledge in psychometric test they will check about your mental health and about uh, your psyche in this test they will ask only about you if you want more information regarding that psychometric test then please comment in the comment box in your personal interview they will check that are you a right candidate for them or not and in medical they check about your medical and physical fitness if you clear all these steps then you will get admission into the college and I personally say it is not very much tough to get admission into that college the GME course is of 8 months as 2 semesters of 4 months and after completing that the company will send you for the training on board means on the ship this is the part which differ from other colleges and this uh, training on the ship is called as the sponsorship many colleges teach you this uh, eight month course but don't give you that C training the training is most important to join any other company because that training allows you to give the examination to become the fourth engineer once you get that training of some months like four six depending on the company you will get eligible to give the examination like MEO class 4 and like that things goes on you join as a fourth engineer you collect your C time apply for MEO class 3 you clear and you become third engineer and like that you become second engineer and chief engineer this is the chart of progress of the engineer in the merchant navy field i hope you like this video this is cable and you are watching corvizi mariners